In any electrical circuit, the current flowing round moves energy from one place to another, often changing it from one type to another. In this example here, chemical energy in the cell is converted to electrical energy, which passes around the circuit, being converted in turn to heat and light in the bulb. The conventional current, shown here, passes all the way around the circuit and through the cell itself. The voltmeter measures the power that the current delivers to the external circuit. But when a cell is working, you'll notice that it gets hot. That is because some of the available power is used inside the cell to push the current through it. If we look inside a simple cell by cutting it in two with a hacksaw, and then splitting it open. You can see that it contains a mess of chemicals which react to produce the electric current. The current has to flow through this mixture which has a very significant resistance of its own. This resistance is called the internal resistance. We can, and sometimes do, represent this internal resistance as a little box inside the cell. In general, the potential difference measures the power delivered by the current to part of a circuit. We can measure this value outside the supply, but the value inside the supply we can only measure indirectly. The total of these two values of potential difference inside and outside the circuit is called the EMF. The principle does not apply only to simple cells. Both transformers and generators have an internal resistance. We can use a simple circuit such as this to measure the EMF and the internal resistance. However, that's shown in a separate video. Thank you for watching.